Already, more than 2 million Michiganders have requested absentee ballots for the November election. But with so many people using this process for the very first time, there are bound to be questions. I asked the Secretary of State some of the most common things you're asking me on my Facebook page and the things my own friends are asking me. Yeah, so it's, it's actually just basic math. Uh, and we know already uh, from the August primary where 1.6 million citizens voted by mail that it took until about Wednesday nights, probably twice the number of people who voted by mail in our August primary will vote by mail in November. So that means we'd need twice the time uh, to count those ballots, which takes us to Friday night. We in Michigan have a statewide voter file that is updated in real time with every voter's uh, interaction. When you request your ballot to be sent to you, it's noted in the file. Uh, when you receive your ballot, when we receive your ballot back, it is noted in the file. When your ballot is counted, it's noted in the file. Through a system called Ballot Scout, been able to make that tracking available to our citizens. Go to michigan.gov slash vote and track whether your ballot request has been received, whether your ballot has been sent to you, and whether it's been, once you return it, received by the clerk. You have the option uh, to go in person to your clerk's office until four o'clock on Monday and say, I now, I don't know if you received my ballot, uh, so I wanna vote now in person just to make sure you get it. If you do that, we will simply invalidate whatever previous ballot was sent to you and give, you know, and, and make that new ballot your vote. Before you even can request a ballot to be sent to you, you have to sign an application. That request signature is then matched with the signature we have on file for you. That ballot is not even uh, prepared to be counted until we validate the signature on your signature on the envelope outside that ballot. If there is a ballot returned with no signature, we, uh, we can't count it. Uh, if there's a ballot returned with a signature envelope that doesn't match the file, what we have on file, we can't count it. That protection is a way of confirming the identity of the voter prior to um, opening the ballot and counting it and ensures that we, like other states in the country, are able to have a vote by mail system that is protected against fraud.